A busy Asheville intersection gets a dubious distinction from Time magazine. It says the interchange at Patton Avenue and Leicester Highway is the second in the nation for fatal accidents. News 13's Kimberly King joins us live at the intersection. So, Kim, how many fatal accidents have happened there? Darcel, according to the report, six people have died at this intersection in the last 10 years. And people who commute through here every day are hoping this latest news will prompt some agency to come in here and make it safer. We checked out Leicester Highway at Patton Avenue for over an hour during the 5 p.m. rush. Three or four weeks ago, there were five accidents in one week here. Traffic is jammed up with backups. Drivers constantly maneuvering through the four-way light. It's just a matter of time before someone gets killed in a head-on collision. Greta Arnold sees it from her jewelry store every day. She says Lester commuters move into the left turn lane for Patton way too early. Do you see where the state trooper is? Paul is pointing to Lester's traffic towards Patton Avenue. They should not be getting in that turning lane. That white car. Still closer to Ingalls. Time magazine analyzed the most recent fatal accident data available up to 2012. They looked at the number of fatal accidents happening within 150 feet of each other. Patton Avenue and New Leicester Highway coming in as one of the most dangerous. The biggest frustration is, is just doesn't seem to be any presence down here. Alan Shepard of Allen's Pawn Shop says he's called ABD for help. His store looks right over the dangerous intersection. He sees people running the light all the time. As everybody starts to run in the red light off of Leicester Highway, and a lot of times, especially when traffic backs up off the next traffic light, you'll just have this massive traffic jam. The fact that Time Magazine has listed this as one of the deadliest spots in the nation, Allen says he hopes it will finally get someone's attention to get something done. We've called the state about why we have a your curb up through here wide enough that you could probably put another 20 cars in a line up here and it will at least get some of the traffic off the road. We called AP for comment, but we did not hear back. We also called Highway Patrol, but we were told that this is in the city's jurisdiction. We also called an official with the Department of Transportation, but it is a holiday weekend. Many people have left early for the day, and we did not hear back. Reporting live in West Asheville on Patton Avenue, Kimberly King, News 13.